Good morning everyone. Uh, this is Rashwin, uh, the Asian mechanic guy. And for today guys, uh, we got this uh, BMW. I think this is an X3. Uh, 3.0 SI 07. 07 uh, BMW with a 3.0 liters engine SI. So complain of this uh, car guys. Uh, it has a coolant leak for today guys uh, I will be showing you how to you know uh, diagnose and uh, check uh, a coolant leak uh, for any kind of car and I will be using my uh, radiator uh, uh, pressure test so guys uh, join me today and let's diagnose this car and hopefully also we could uh, fix it today so let's get started so guys, uh, I will be removing this uh, plastic cover and I will be using this kind of uh, tools. It's a uh, Torx. It's T30. Uh, T-30. I don't know if you could see it. Alright guys. So those are the plastic that I just removed. So there were like three pieces of uh, plastic. And guys this is how it looks like in here so it seems like there's a couple of hoses in here and like I said mostly uh, BMW radiator has no radiator cup so we uh, will be using I think this is the reservoir we will be using the radiator reservoir cup for the pressure test so let's uh, open this so that's the location guys right there let's open this and make sure guys to cool down your car before you open this otherwise it will you know explode And for your protection, just put some cloth, you know, you never know, because this is pressurized. So there you go, guys. That's the coolant reservoir. So we will be putting our tools in here, a pressure test, so we could check uh, where's the leak coming from. So guys, uh, before we uh, pressurize this uh, uh, reserve walk up, uh, we are going to add coolant. So I got this BMW anti-freeze and this is 50-50, so 50 water and then 50 coolant. Well, it's you know it's this is green but on the screen it's blue <laughs> That's it. there you go now let's add it in, into our reservoir So now it's now it's full. The reason why I fill it up, because when I put the the pressure test, it's easy for us to you know to check where's the leak because it just uh, we just need to put a little air on it, a pressurized air on it, then it pushes this coolant somewhere wherever is the leak is. And guys, this is my. Uh, pressure test kit so I think I will be using this one let's check if it fits 
It's too big. Let's try this. The blue one. Oh yeah. This one fits. Let's pressurize this. I saw the, the leak. It's in here. Right there. I don't know if you could see it. So, right there. See that leak? See there, it's creeping. Let me pressurize it again. See that? Wow, that's a lot of drip. That's where the leak coming from. Right there. It's leaking so bad. So guys, this hose, it has uh, two bolts I guess, or three bolts. And this one goes whoa, all the way there. Alright, anyway, let's check more if there's still other leak, but it seems like that's the only leak we got. So guys, right there. Alright guys, uh, in order to remove this, there's also a uh, one connection underneath but in order to remove that we need to remove the tire and mostly uh, tire tires of uh, BMW is got stuck so spray it with the lubricant and sit it there for like three to five minutes then it will become loose and guys over here it's kind of dark in here but this is your rock and pinion your tie rod then the location of that hose is right there so see that see that bolt right there just loosen that bolt you can use a flat screw driver and then that's pretty much it so remove the tire guys so remove the tire uh, driver side I mean passenger side just the tire so we can able to you know remove the hose again there's only one bolt right there it's a clump actually we'll be using a not the big one okay guys the one on the right there the one The one on the top, not the one on the bottom. Alright guys, so make sure you get a, a pan or container below. It's gonna all all of the coolant will flow over here. Uh, where is that? Right, right there. Alright guys, let's move the one in here, there are like uh, two bolts, I think this is number 10, so just remove it slowly.
We go a little bit to go. Oops. I think there's one more on the bottom. Let's double check. So guys, there were like only two bolts. We need to use a a long flat flat screwdriver and like just stop it slowly. See this guys, it's already broken. So this is where the leak coming from. Because this one is plastic. Right there. So remember guys there is an o-ring. So now let's clean this up then put the new one. Before we clean that guys, let's remove these holes. Guys, this is the new one. And we had also instruction in here to follow. It's I think it's from this is from BMW. Yes. This part is with genuine genuine parts from BMW dealership so let's put some lubricant in here go so it will sit nicely because there was an o-ring in here now we can install the new one same thing in here let's put some lubricant in here so it's easy for us to you know Install it. Okay. So now, guys, everything is set. Now we are going to put coolant in here, but we need to bleed the the coolant. So the way I do this that put your key on on position so let me go in the car so in on that's the on position and then turn on the heater let's turn on the heater the maximum that way it will uh, trigger the coolant pump so now we can add uh, coolant in here but then we need also to unscrew this the bleeder bulb Let's 
one. It's a bleeder bulb. So it's located beside this. So let me show it to you guys. So right there. I hope you can see it. Right there. Now we can start pouring some coolant. So this is 50-50 guys, okay? So again guys, this is 50-50, okay? 50% water, 50% pull Oops! Now, you could see the bleeder. Maybe the something down there. Okay guys. I want to see, I want you to see the bleeder right there. It's a uh, see the bleeder bulb right there. The air is coming out. Let's pour some coolant. See that, guys. Bleeding out the uh, air. So, guys, I think that's it. It's been like this for like five minutes now. There's no more bubbles coming out on the bleeder bulb, but you know. We still need to like remove few few coolant in here because this shouldn't be like a full full of coolant. There should be like a, a space on this reservoir. So we're gonna remove some coolant in there. But I guess that that's it. Then let's check if there's a uh, any leak under here then as you can see guys no leak no it's dry no leak at all, all right guys let's put back the bleeder bulb remove some uh, coolant in here alright right, guys let's remove some coolant alright guys we did remove some coolant in there so that's how all I can go so I think that should be it let's put back the cap and then let's start the car all right guys uh, let's start the car
so there you go guys uh, that's how you uh, diagnose uh, and fix uh, leaking uh, coolant for uh, 2007 uh, BMW X3 so guys if you have any question uh, any suggestion uh, please uh, comment below and uh, please consider like uh, and subscribe my channel too that's all for today guys and see you on my next video bye bye